Hi everyone, it's Alexandria again and I'm here with you to show you my mini haul. I went to a couple of stores so let's get started. The first store I went to was Target and we know how it is going into Target. You go in for one thing and then you come out with a lot of stuff but I actually did pretty good this time so not too bad. Alright, the first thing I picked up was this NYC liquid liner. It's in, it's in pearlized black. I hope that just means it's black. Um, that's the only one they had and it has this pre precision application um, I've heard tons of people rave about this mascara not only on YouTube, but other social media accounts So uh, I think the reason they like it is because the tip is so pointy I'm not a huge eyeliner wearer, so hopefully you like that and maybe I'll start wearing eyeliner a little bit more But we'll see Okay, then I went ahead and picked up this small stipple brush by e.l.f. I have a MAC stipple brush, uh, but it's it's chunkier, so I liked this one because it was pretty small. Um, it'll be good to either just blend out stuff or, you know, even apply foundation. So, I also picked up this Pond's Nourishing Moisturizing Cream for very dry skin. I've also talked about this in my last video. I'm just going to keep this in my purse. It's a really, really good hand cream or for any part of your body that's dry. It's my favorite. And then it's also very inexpensive, so that's another good thing. All right. Um, moving on. Okay, I picked up this L'Oreal Pet. This L'Oreal Paris Revital Lift Anti Wrinkle Plus Firming Night Cream Moisturizer. <sighs> All right, um, it's a smoother and firmer skin in four weeks. Rejuvenates skin overnight. I've never used a L'Oreal night cream before, so we'll give it a try. I have tried the L'Oreal um, eye cream before, and I really enjoyed that one. I actually purchased it uh, over and over again. So, it's a pretty good size bottle. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Um, it looks like a pretty thick consistency. Eh, smells like your average night cream, I guess, would smell. Somebody's driving very solo. Hmm, I don't know. All right. I guess somebody's checking out the building or something. All right, then I also picked up this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Eye Cream. It moisturizes and reduces the appearance of fine lines. It says it's a healthy skin eye cream, fragrance-free, um, hypoallergenic, suitable for contact wearers, which I'm not, and it's oil-free. I've never tried a Neutrogena eye cream before, so we'll see how this one goes. Um, the L'Oreal one that I was using came in a little pot, uh, so you would have to like stick your finger in there, which wasn't really a fan of, so this one comes in a little squeezy tube, which is convenient. So we'll see about that. All right, and then, um, you know, in Target, they have that like dollar section where things range, I think, from a dollar to three dollars. I found this really cute glass container, um, and it kind of inspired, oh, that was kind of loud. It, um, it kind of inspired me to uh, make a video maybe with this, maybe for like a body butter or a hand scrub or something. So I just thought that was a really cute container. I think it was the color that drew me in, honestly. If it was probably like a clear top or a black top, I probably wouldn't have got it. See you. Good job on the color. Alrighty. Um, and then moving on to the other store that I went to, it's our local, it's my local grocery store. It's an HEB here in Texas. I think, te well, I think HEBs are just a Texas thing, I think. Alrighty. Um, I picked up this Maybelline Volume Express Mascara Pumped Up Colossal. It says up to 16 times the volume. So that's a lot of volume. They only had it in classic black, so I just went ahead and picked it up. I didn't want to go to another store or anything. Uh, it has the the little brush applicator, which I like, not the not the plastic applicator because I'm not a fan of that. It says pumped pumps up lashes for 60 times the volume, um, colossal impact. Um, so we'll see how I like this. I'm going to do a review on it, I think. Um, it just drew me in. It was pink and bright and pretty, and then I've also seen reviews on it, and people, uh, most people tend to like it, so we'll see about that. 
And then I also needed more of my e.l.f. eyelash curler replacement pads. You get five in here for a dollar, which is a great deal. And the eyelash curler that I use, it's the one with the white um, handle. Uh, my favorite eyelash curler, and I've tried quite a few. So I needed more of these. And then I also picked up this... Revlon Deep Burgundy Color in 34. It looks just like this. A lot of people are scared of box colors, but I'm not. Um, actually, a few years ago, me, my cousin, and my sister all colored our hair burgundy um, with box colors. And obviously, it looked different on all of us because we're all different skin tones, but we all liked it. It was really pretty. And when you're inside, it doesn't show up so much it kind of just looks like you have a dark color but when you go outside and the sun hits your hair it's so purple and plum and burgundy it looks really really pretty this is my natural hair color right now I don't have anything in it so I think it's gonna look pretty good another thing that I like about um the box colors is that if you don't like it after a few washes it's gonna start to wash out so it's not permanent they're kind of like semi-permanent I guess you would say Okay, then the last thing that I picked up was this Wet n Wild lipstick. This is my first Wet n Wild lipstick. I've heard great things about this. People rave about these lipsticks. So I wanted to pick one up. Um, I actually swatched it earlier. It looks really, really pretty. I didn't want to go for like super crazy color. Um, so hopefully I like it. And actually, I got it with a coupon, which is amazing. Because usually these lipsticks are like... I think original price was $2.34 or something, and they actually had a coupon for $1.50 off, so that it's crazy. I should have picked up more of them, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like them. So, um, I mean, they're inexpensive anyway, so I just thought I'd give one a try before I bought a whole bunch. But basically, that is everything that I bought. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did, and until next time, bye!